So once you got all that nonsense unraveled, um, finally left with the wire. So today, people, my job is taking this apart. Yeah, the uh, the cable seems to have um, well, it's got a break in it somewhere. I think it's probably around there. So let's uh, let's take it apart and let's fix it. There's a lot of screws. Um, for anybody who's taking one of these apart, there's a cover there like that with two screws in, and there are two security screws with a little. You won't be able to see it, but little holes in the middle and star drive. Two there, two there, two there, <laughs> two there, and two there at the bottom there. Got most of them out. Let me just finish off pulling these out. There you go, so I think I've got them all out. Let's go. Oh, give me that. Oh, there you go. So, yep, yeah, like I say, two screws at the front there, two in the middle. Two a bit further back. Oh, the light's terrible. Let me get some good light on here. Hold on. There you go. That's better. Hey. <laughs> yeah, it's probably too much. Yeah, so um, two there, two there, two there, two tucked right in there. There you go. There and two at the back as well. And then it just pulls off. Right. Let's um. Get this cable out. Let's see what's what. Um, yeah, mm, not liking the looks of that. Looks like it's very much embedded into the motor. Oh uh, well, right. Let's get that off first and have a look. Right. So the cable stops off, but that goes all the way up to the switch. I think the brake is just there. Impossible to tell though. But looks like I've got a somehow now find out how to get into that. Bear with. So what I've found so far is there's a screw right down in there. Can you see it? Yeah, just down there. And a couple at the top there as well. So I took those. I've also got two screws in there. Again that get some light on this. There you go. Two screws in there, so I'm guessing now if we give it a little bit of a, a hoist, it should come out. Right, two hands. Right, so there's a sneaky hidden one right down there as well. Let me get a light in. There you go. Hey, <laughs> yeah, so there's a little cap like that. that you pull off, it's a bit of a faff, but there's one down there as well. Oh, there you go. There's the other switch down there, and it just pulls out like that. I bet if I'd have gone onto the internet, somebody's worked this out already, and it would have been a lot easier. Yeah, so, what we've got in there? Looks like the wires are probably soldered in, so, right, let's get that switch out, see what we've got to work with. Alright, so you basically pull all these out of there. And there's your brown wire, just there, and there's your blue wire, I believe, yep, just there. Um, yeah, so they're all crimped together, oh, great. Uh, yeah, not liking the look of this very much. I think I find, need to find a different solution than that. And that may mean soldering them and using the plastic cap. Right, um, this has just got a little more complicated. Right, change of location. A bit better lighting in here, in the garage. Which obviously needs a damn good tidier, but don't worry. We'll get around to it at some point. Um, so right, now I've just got to uh, on this slide that down a bit to give myself... A little bit more leverage and I think like I say it's broke just there and um, it's got a tendency of that getting trapped when you put it away so I've got to just uh, probably splice it back there and then join it up here I've got the soldering iron on so hopefully before long we can get this sorted well you wouldn't think it'd be that difficult to, to slide that along but it is 
so I'd cut it. This is going from bad to worse. To be honest, I've never been a fan of the shark, even though the wife loves it. And I'm becoming less of a fan of them as well. Look, I've got a screwdriver in there, I've got penetrating oil in there, and this cable will not move. Let's persevere, shall we? Well, that's phase one. Finally got it off. Yeah, they glue them in there. They slide a whole lot better when they're not glued. Look at that. Look, it moves. So I'm going to have to glue it in at the end though. Right, let's get on with it. So, talk about how to overcomplicate things and over-engineer things. So, obviously I've got to get that out. Yeah, I think I've just found out how you do it. Yeah. There's a... What can only be described as... The same sort of thing that holds your taps on <laughs> that slides in there so I'm hoping now that's going to come yeah just straight out so not only have you got a screw right down there look you've got to take that crazy bracket out there before you can get all that out before you get to your wires nice <sighs> so there you go that's that's what comes out um, don't forget that one because that is the I guess it's the earth but it, Walks onto a plastic thing. Mm, all right. Um, and then you've got a ferrite magnet as well. Wow. Just wow. So once you've got all that nonsense unravelled, um, finally left with the wire. So all I've got to do now is strip back about that much of the cable. Wow. So there you go. Strip back. You know, if you took this to a, a vacuum repair shop, if such a thing exists anymore, I should have to think how much this would cost you. This is, even if you know what you're doing, good air was work. <sighs> okay, let's get it back together. Well, I guess I better check it all works before I put it back together. There you go, you can have a bird's eye view. Right, that one on there like that. Beep. That one on there, beep, sounds good to me. Well, I'm not a big fan of those climping whatever they are, but um, with a the squeeze and a the pinch they do come apart and you can reuse them again. So that's just what I've done. So, cables in, connectors in, let's, uh, let's think about putting it all back together again, see if it works. Well, back in the office again and getting that little beauty. Down there was all the fun of the fair. Let me show you. <laughs> Light's terrible in here. There you go. Right down there, getting that back in again. It was hilarious. And I think what it actually is, because you're holding that there, I'm guessing it's some sort of earth bonding. Um, everything else is plastic, so I kind of think it would make sense. But uh, the only problem with that is, the two wires coming in are live and neutral. There is no earth. Maybe it's a safety switch. Maybe if you let go, it cuts it. Nah, it wouldn't be that clever. Oh, who cares? Let's get it back together. <laughs> so obviously that screw that I showed you. Uh, two screws. Oops, my lights. Yeah, let me get my light right. God dear, the light is appalling. I'm going to have to change this light. There you go. So that screw's there, the cable clamp. And uh, that is that. Put back together. And the switch back into place again. There you go, one screw right at the back, two at the front, and of course that little cover goes back on, just like that. Now the top cover, clip that into place, there you go, just like that, makes a bit of a satisfying click when you've got it in there. And now two screws at the front, two screws there, two there, and two at the very back. Oh yeah, and those two little hidden ones, there and there. There you go, so like I can say, two at the front, two in the middle, two at the back there, and two, whoops, two right in there, and they are of course the star drive with a little slot in the middle. Uh, right, next thing, 
is cover on that clips into place that also holds the cord there all nice and secure and then I'll put the filter and the cover back on and there you go all back together again just check that's right proof is in the pudding there let's, let's plug it in wish me luck There you go, so that is how to fix a broken cord on a shark true pet. Is it called true pet? Yeah, there you go. Rocket true pet. <laughs>